look what I have. This is not computer graphics. The locket actually glows with shimmering light constantly changing color. It looks fantastic, especially in the evening when only candles light up the room. You know, it makes a great present and in this video I will explain how you can build your own. What makes this locket look so magical is Peak X8 microcontroller, a common cathode RGB LED and a pair of batteries providing a total of 3 volts. In addition to this, we will also need a few more parts to program the microcontroller. Two resistors, 10 and 22K, a breadboard, a DB9 connector and a bunch of wires with solid core. Assemble everything as shown on this diagram and connect to your computer. If your computer is not equipped with RS-232 port, use an adapter just like we did in episode 3 to connect the voice controlled robot. This setup allows you to program PCAX 8 microcontroller. All parts are available from Radio Shack and should not cost you more than $20. It's time to get the software. On RTFM's blog website you can find links to several different integrated development environments. In this project I will use free IDE called XPad. Download and install this program on your PC or Mac. Grab the source code for this project from RTFM's blog website and paste it into XPad. Connect the controller to your computer and open Options dialog. Select one of the available serial ports and pick X 08M microcontroller. Hit the firmware button to verify that selected port is connected to the microcontroller. If you see this dialog, just try a different port. Now click the program button. If you see this error message, that probably means you need to verify how you assembled your controller. More information about troubleshooting possible problems is provided on rtfms.com. Once the problems are fixed, you should see this message. A moment later, the RGB LED should start changing colors like mood lamp. Let's pack our project into the locket. As you can see on these pictures, it's not trivial and requires some work with the file, side cutters and sanding paper. Remove all plastic you can from LED without compromising its integrity. I ruined three LEDs before getting satisfactory result, but check out how small the LED became compared to the original. The microcontroller also can be trimmed from both sides. You can remove approximately half millimeter of plastic from each side. Before doing that, make sure you mark the first pin by making a notch on the key side of the chip. The original marking will be gone with excessive plastic. This procedure essentially turns DIP package into SOIC-like package. Finally, I added two contacts for the battery and wrapped everything with heat shrink. The white paint you see on the picture reflects LED light making it more even. But what about some kind of switch for this device? I cut the wire connecting the battery to the microcontroller and exposed its ends. The locket is made of metal, so to turn the microcontroller on, you just need to put this package inside the locket. The locket will shortcut the wires and let the current flow to the microcontroller. If you are curious why there are no current limiting resistors in the schema and how one PCX8 microcontroller can drive three independent colors, even though it has just one pulse width modulation channel. You can find this and more information on rtfms.com.